Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Lisa of Energy Gal Holistic Wellness. Happy New Year. Oh my goodness, as I am in my office, it is January 1st of 2023. Well, welcome to the very first day of our 365 day journey together when it comes to holistic wellness. I'm so excited to have you here with me. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about that one ingredient, that one thing that makes the goal sustain itself forever. You know, I've worked with thousands of clients in this holistic wellness where you take the body, the soul, the spirit, and you integrate all of those together. And with some, I've noticed that there is a long-term success. And with others, I, I see that there's a short-term success, but then the wheels fall off later. And then with some, I see altogether, there's just no, there's, there's no forward moving at all. And as I've sat there thinking, what could I do on day one that would be the most effective, most efficient, most uh, valuable lesson, most valuable tool that I could give you on this very first day of, journey, of your journey, what would it be? And it would be that one thing that would help you sustain your goals, your hopes, your dreams. And it's this. It's creating a container that is safe. It's creating a container that is high vibe. It's creating a container for you that is full of joy, that is full of compassion and curiosity and courage. It's creating a container for you where you know that you are being held and listened to and honored. You know, sometimes I think that we just hit the ground running, boom, we go for it. But we don't ever really stop to say, well, hold on, is this really what I wanted? And, 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 and even if it is what we wanted, we don't ever stop to say, well, hold on, is this sustainable? So today what I want to do before I even get into talking about, oh my goodness, you know, you need to be doing X, Y, Z and following your macros and writing down your list and you've got to uh, be uh, getting out your calendar and what I want to do is I want to create a safe container, a safe space for you to be able to hold your hopes and your dreams in first. So tomorrow and the next day, we're going to go through some, um, some guided meditation type stuff that is going to help you really uncover and discover what it is 2023 has for you as its promise. But before we do that, I want you to, to um, I'm going to hold a safe space for you so that you can then have a safe space to be able to put your hopes and dreams into tomorrow and the next day so that you've got a very clear vision in this month of January of how the rest of the year is going to be unpacking itself. I hope I've made myself clear um, in the comments below if, um, if this is resonating with you, if you could just help me uh, know, or if you've got an even more uh, um, uh, clear way of being able to unpack it to our tribe, please do so in the comments. I, I'm really interested to hear what you all have to say. So, okay, Whew. here we go. Um, tomorrow and the next day, we will be talking about the importance of drinking water. But in the meantime, grab yourself a glass of water. This is yours. I poured it for you. This is mine. And what I want to do is and I want you, what I want you to do is just take a moment to know how important the intention that you hold is and how much it can change everything. The intention that you hold is a vibration, is a frequency, and it changes your environment. It changes your life. And so I want to create a container of high vibe intention specific over our water. And then I want you to drink your water. And it's almost like you are ingesting your intention. It's not an intention that just stays up here. It's not an intention that you've written on a piece of paper outside of you. It's an intention that, um, that you've almost poured into the water. And then you consume the water. And so as we do this, and your intention just so that you're aware, you're, I don't even know what my intention should be. 
we're just going to create a vibration. I want to read a story to you. I'm reading a book called Butterflies Are Free to Fly by Stephen Davis, and he has given me permission to share this particular story on the YouTube. Here's the story of George. Now we're going to be creating a vibration in this space that's a safe environment. And then we're going to drink this water. It's, it's, you might say something like it's unconventional. This is weird. This is odd. I agree. Get used to different. This is the journey with me, with holistic wellness. Hey, what the heck? You know? Okay, so here we go. George had a problem. Although he hit it very, uh, fairly well, George was basically unhappy. He was feeling unfulfilled. His life had become dull and boring. He hated his job. He was probably going to be fired soon because of the economic recession. His relationship with his wife had gone south. He couldn't communicate anymore with his kids. He had no real life except working, eating, watching TV, and sleeping. He could count his real friends on one finger, and he saw no real way of changing anything, of making anything better. But that wasn't George's biggest problem at the moment. His most pressing concern was that he had begun to walk in his sleep. One night while George was out sleepwalking, he fell into a very deep hole. When he woke up, he discovered he was lying on the bottom in just his pajamas, and there was nothing in the hole except him. He looked up and saw the morning sky above him with a few bare branches of trees overhanging the perfect circle of sunlight at the top. It was early spring and there was a chill in the air. He saw no one, but he could hear the faint sound of voices. He knew he had to try to get out, but the walls of the hole were straight and slippery and high, and there was nothing to use for climbing. Each time he tried, he fell back to the bottom, frustrated. He started crying out for help. Suddenly, there was a man's face peering down at him from the top of the hole. What's your problem? The man asked. Oh, thank God, George cried. I'm stuck down here and I can't get out. Well, then let me help, the man said. What's your name? George. Last name? Z Zimmerman. One or two uh, ends. Two? Okay, I'll be right back. When the face disappeared, George wondered what was so important about the spelling of his name. And then the man was back. Well, this is your lucky day, George. I am a billionaire, and I'm feeling generous this morning. The man let go of a small piece of paper he was holding in his hand, and it floated slowly down into the hole. George caught it and looked up again. The man was gone. George stared at the piece of paper. It was a check for $1,000 made out in his name. Well, what the hell? Where, where am I going to spend this down here? He thought to himself. He folded it and put it in his pajama pocket. And then he heard another voice coming. Please help me! George yelled to the empty space at the top. A second man's face appeared, a kind and compassionate face. What can I do for you, my son? George could see the man's clerical collar as he leaned over the edge. Father, help me out of this hole, please, my son. The voice was soft and loving. I must perform mass at the church in five minutes, so I can't stop right now. But we will say a special prayer for you today. And then he reached into his pocket. Here, this will help and he dropped a book into the hole before leaving. George picked up the Bible, studied it, and tried to imagine any possible way to use it to get out of the hole. Eventually, he gave up and tossed it aside. The next passerby was a woman. When she understood George's predicament, she threw down some organic vegetables along with vitamins and herbal supplements. Eat only these, she said. George put them in a pile on top of the Bible. A doctor stopped and donated a few bottles of the sample medications he was being paid to peddle that week. A lawyer came by and talked for a while about suing the city for not putting a fence around the hole, and he left his card. 
A politician promised to pass a law to protect sleepwalkers if George would vote for him in the election tomorrow, assuming, you know, he could get out of the hole. By this time, George had taken a seat on the bottom of the hole, shivering slightly from the chill, starting to give up hope that anyone would help him get out. He felt lonely, helpless, and a little fearful. He moved the drugs aside, picked up an organic banana off the pile, and took a bite. I can help you get out. He heard a strong, convincing, powerful female voice. He wasn't quite sure. Did he recognize that voice? Had he seen her on TV or something? You just need to let go of all of your negative thinking. Learn to visualize and then use the law of attraction. That's exactly what I'm doing. Trying to attract someone to help me get out of this hole, George protested. Well, you must not be doing it right, came the response. She tossed something thin and square that landed at George's feet. George yelled up to her, but wait. There was no answer there to an there was no one there to answer. He picked up the DVD, still shrink wrapped, and stared at the cover. The Teachings of Abraham Master Course DVD program. Well, at least you could have thrown down a portable DVD player, he said quietly, to no one in particular. In a little while a Zen Buddhist sat down in a lotus position at the edge of the hole, wanting to teach George to meditate. If nothing else, the master said. If you practice long enough, you'll feel better about being in the hole. I mean, who knows? You might even be able to levitate your way out in a few lifetimes. Well, George was about to resign himself to being in this hole forever when he heard the voice. Can you move over a few feet out of the way, please? George looked up. What? I said, could you please move away from the center of the hole? George stood up and took a few steps back toward the side. Why, he was about to ask, when the man jumped into the hole, landing at George's feet. Are you crazy? George exclaimed as the man got up and brushed himself off. Now we're both in this hole together. Couldn't you just throw me a rope or a ladder or something? The man looked at him gently. Oh, <laughs> they don't work. No, George asked incredulously. Well, I've been here before, and I know the way out. There's just so many parts of that story that I absolutely love. But I think my takeaway for me, and I'd be so, so curious as to what your takeaway is, so please add that in the comments, is that There are so many different ways that people try to help us. There's so many different methods. And I think that a lot of them work just so beautifully. But the very first thing to do is to create relationship, to meet the other person where they are at. Not say, hey, come up here, and then we can start your journey. But I'm going to come on down there, and together we can start your journey. And the reason I'm not afraid to come on down there is because I've been down there before, and I know the way out. And if I was to say what our 365-day journey would be about, my friends, it would be just that. I want each of us to meet each other in that pit, in that place. And I want you to feel seen and heard and held and honored for your journey. And I, for my end, will encourage you. I hope to inspire you. I hope to guide you, not because I know it all, but because I know this particular part of the journey. I've been here before and I know the way out. 
So I'm hoping that you can feel the curiosity, the compassion, and the courage that I hold and that I offer to you. And I just know that in this space, this water is crystallized into a, a vibration of love. And so together, Lahaim, we drink. And what I want to encourage you is that you don't have to rush to try to figure out what it is 2023 is supposed to be happening for you. As you hold your water or your hand to your heart space and allow the energies to come down, to flow down into the heart space as we learn to integrate body, heart, mind, soul, spirit, as we learn to integrate it all, as we learn to really take ownership and become sovereign of our physical being, then we will know. We don't have to try to figure it out. It'll just feel right and it'll unpack itself. I hope that today has been an encouragement. I hope that you took something away that you were like, that's, that's kind of cool and I learned from that. I look forward to our journey together. Only 364 days left. <laughs> Let's enjoy every single one. I am grateful for you and I thank you for your subscriptions, your, uh, and hit the notification button so that you know uh, when the next video is uploaded and ready. I appreciate your likes, your shares, and your comments to help grow the channel. And if you would uh, be interested in a one-on-one, -on -one, whether it is in my office or it is virtual, I am available. I have the links below.